Finally caused an upset yet again. This man's been putting in so much work at the past couple of MSMs he's and, been And to. I just got to say, the way he... The way he clutched out that set against K9 was very YMCA esque of him, uh, because he he killed K9 with a dash attack to fair at zero percent. Oh my God, that's <laughs> uh, that's crazy right here. I'm so excited to see what he's gonna pull out against Sweet T here. I know, I'm excited to see what he's gonna do as well. But I mean, so far he seems to be yeah, landing he's, these hits. He's, he's definitely, definitely giving him the hands. The lead. <laughs> Yes. In the lead here over Sweet T right now on the Ivy Store, he has a huge percent lead. Landing with the photo, actually just catching him under him. That's right, he mixed up his landing there by using his second jump and then did the offensive landing with the forward air, uh, which did hit below him. And Ooh. wow, great back air. Yeah, Sweet T losing that first stock pretty early, only a minute into this game. He tries for the up B as shield as Charizard, gonna get hit with the back air. Up B is coming out. Heavy damage on Sweet T. Yeah, just, I can't Squirtle. believe he's already at 90%. With Squirtle being at 90%, Squirtle being like the lightest of the trio, he's, you mean Jacob's got to be sweating. Sweet. Oh, no, okay. I, I was almost sure that he was going to get back thrown right there. I, YMCA looking for the dash check. I throw up air for Sweet T. He gets the switch into Squ Ivy Store, rather, but he just gets punished. Another back air. YMCA looking great right now. Runoff near is going to be a two stock lead for YMCA. And that was so smart from YMCA because Jacob was recovering on Ivysaur. When, whenever Ivysaur tethers to the ledge, he always drops down and then goes straight up. YMCA is scouting that out and getting the kill. But now we see G uh, Sweet T staying on Charizard, which he hasn't necessarily really been playing. Like yeah, he, he typically like just escapes from Charizard right away. I, YMCA, you know, the noob check real quick. You know, he goes off, <laughs> runs, throws him out into the stage, says, if you can tech this, good for you. But if not, I'm going to win this game. Yes, yes, indeed. But YMCA dropping his first stock. And now Squirtle coming out. I'm really scared to have Squirtle at 111% against such a big, strong character. But the damage is racking up for YMCA, already at 57%. And with the way that he's been throwing out, Sweet Tea's been using his Razor Leaf, YMCA has been landing a lot of parries, but a big down smash. Even charged it a little bit. He knew the roll was coming. He said, the hardest of reads. He said, watch my right hand. I'm going to hit you with this. And then slapped him with his left. Oh, the fake out. That's the that's definitely the Muhammad Ali right there. He's hey, just man. winding up that punch, saying, come looking on, at come the wrong hand. You, wrong know hand. <laughs> you know it's coming. You know it's coming. Nah. <laughs> going to get him with the left, though. Great stuff. Sweet T looked completely lost, to be honest, in that he, YMCA just looked so great coming into that game one. Mm -hmm. I mean, he definitely looking strong, and after coming off I that win, I can see why he made it this far. Yeah, he was performing very well today, uh, and now we have a character change Palutena. from Sweet Tea to Palutena. I can see what he's going for. You know, Palutena does have the Nair strings, and uh, against such a big character like Donkey Kong, it's gonna be more difficult for him to make it out of it. Yeah, he's definitely gonna be able to put up some big damage, but the question is, how comfortable is he on the Palutena? You know, he's known for his Pokemon and his other Pokemon, Pichu, but, like, I haven't seen very much of Sweet Tea's Palutena. It's very, uh, definitely a pocket Palutena. I know he was working on it, Palutena, back uh, early Ultimate. Okay. You know, pretty yeah. much when, when a lot uh, of Palutena wore. was, like, you know, the new hotness. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the jab hit behind her. That's funny. Yeah, but, I mean, YMCA's awareness of just everything that he's getting hit with and what he can punish has been insane this first uh, this first game and this first stock. He gets the shield break. Wow. Of course he does. Yeah, of, of course, course he does. does. Why not? He's already put a lot of style points in this set. Why not add a little bit more with the shield break? And now Jacob's going to, or Sweet is going to be a little bit more afraid to hold the R button around YMCA. He knows that he's going to, he has access to the shield breaker at the side B. And now he's aware that he's willing to push the button. I, Perry. I'm, Sweet T just looks like he's playing. Oh, sorry. YMCA looks like he's playing on another level right now. Unfortunately, that level is above Palutena, so she does get the up air. Gonna lose that stock. Sweet T looking a little bit more confident this game. That's right. Even answering right back with his own parry against the back air. And now just pressuring another parry. Trying to land a nair. It's not working out. Okay, up throw into up air, but. Uh, it's kind of the wrong game. I don't think that it's going to work at those percents. We're going to see another back throw. Okay, just no, down just throw. just walks him off. 
And I like that smart oh, Sweet stuff. T without a jump here. Okay, did not time the down smash uh, correctly. That looked like that would have connected yeah. if, he had, if he had held it just a little bit longer. He definitely had the read. You know, Sweet T did actually go a little bit above the ledge, but he was able to grab before it. the down smash came out. Wow, I Spinning can't believe that killed. So he actually armored yeah. through Sweet T and then just carried him to the ledge and then with the last hit of the up B was enough to take the stock. That's, I mean, we're seeing a lot of reads come out from, from YMCA. These gambits I, seem to be working out in his favor. Dash attack looks for the back air as well. Gonna find the soft spot. This has been great play from YMCA. Sweet T though, gets the runoff neutral. Not gonna die, great DI from YMCA. He looks for the giant punch, not gonna find it. Gonna okay. eat a back air, still not dead though. YMCA gonna get caught by another Nair. And that's gonna even up the stock, Sweet T. Uh, you know, really trying to bring this to a 1-1 score. You don't want to be game two or going into game three, 0-2. Yeah, that's definitely the, you know, the pressure's on at that point. But a whiffed grab is going to get punished by an up tilt. But more Nair strings coming from Sweet T. Oh, he tried to get the drag down, but he wasn't able to follow up. Okay, Perry. But he's going to whip the back oh. here. Oh, punishing the... Uh, and spot again, <laughs> it's... Both these games, it's come down to Sweet T's had a habit of using a defensive option, and YMCA's known as coming in these clutch situations, held a smash attack for long enough, and got the clap. That's right. Just kind of scaring him. Yeah. I mean, you see that big, strong attack coming, you know it's extremely strong. Yeah. And if you want to punish it, you know, you're going to be looking to either roll out of your, you know, spot dodger and get that uh, punish. So now, Who does Sweet T. Probably Pichu. Ooh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Pichu, because he is going to have the combo game. It's going to be able to rack up uh, DK to insane yeah. amount, insanely high amount of damage. But finishing the plate is going to be key for Sweet Tea. You can you can get DK to 150 percent, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't take the stock. Yeah, but with Pichu, he could, he may be getting him to 150 percent, but he also may just be killing him at 30 percent with that down air. That's true. Very potent option for Pichu. He's going to be looking to get these edge guards onto YMCA, but YMCA, great grab right there. And in the, even a good drift from a directional air dodge, and then dr drifting the other way with P2, just avoiding the second up air. Okay, projectiles don't seem to be working against YMCA. He, pr he parries a high percentage of them. <laughs> Alright, looks for the up throw into the Thunder. Great DI from YMCA, not going to get caught with it. Okay, but the raw back air is going to get YMCA off stage, and back air of his own is going to get him back on. Ooh, that was a bold up beat from Sweet T. Has to drop shield to the ground pound. Knows they will just break a shield. He'd rather take the hit. Exactly. One more hit of that ground pound on the shield, and that would have been a broken shield again. Nice up air. Going to call out that landing down air. Just going to eat right through it. Sweet T losing that first stock. Oh, but the up throw into a quick thunder. Yeah, and remember that Pichu will always send... Uh, his opponent in the direction that whatever he's facing with the thunder. Yeah. So being at the ledge and throwing up, doesn't matter which side he gets caught on, uh, YMCA is going to go forward towards the, the blast zone. Yeah, definitely one of the key differences between Pichu and Pikachu. I mean, that key difference makes a huge difference, especially when it comes to offstage play. Yeah. You're throwing thunders offstage, are you trying to combo with, like, up throw into thunder? You know it's good, kill. Another directional air dodge. Wow, no. YMCA didn't pull the trigger. He had already explained his double jump. I think he realized it would have been the trade at best. Ah, uh, stock for stock right there. Yeah, but he could have, I mean, he could have thrown out like a down air or forward air or even down B. I mean, though, all three of those options do spike. And with his DK's recovery not being so bad, he probably would have made it back. But regardless, I don't know. When you're in the lead two games to nothing, you can afford to play safe at, like YMCA. Or you can play, you can afford to roll some dice. Let's see, with uh, YMCA being as explosive player as he is, I'm surprised he's not rolling all the dice. But a couple more damages and a quick back throw. He chucked that mouse off stage so fast. Okay, good down tilt to grab. Easy damage with the up air. The couple back airs coming with it. Down B to make sure that YMCA recovers correctly. Great oh up B to make the combo. Lord. YMCA been doing a great job here in game three looking to get the 3-0 versus sweet tea but sweet tea fighting right back oh there's, there's the a jab double lock. jab heavy body of donkey kong not gonna drop the stock quite yet down smash not gonna connect 
now res resorting to some Thunder Jolts, looking for his opportunity, approaching with the Thunder Jolt. Yeah, Up that's throw. gonna be it for Sweet T. Gonna find this game three. Yeah, I mean, Sweet T hanging on for life. Yeah, barely able to stay alive in this set. He does have the game now under his belt. Going into this game four, he has a little bit of momentum. He has a little bit of momentum, but you know what? YMCA has the counter picks. It's going to be his stage selects from now on. Yeah, it's definitely, I'm really curious to see what stage it's going to be here. Is it going to be Triplats? My guess would have been to go to Triplats. I didn't hear what stage they picked. Okay. It's going to be Smashville. Smashville. Very small stage. Nowhere for Sweet Tea to run away from this giant Donkey Kong. Right. That kind of makes sense. Um, he has been killing off the sides a little bit uh, for the majority of stocks. And I believe that Smashville actually has some close horizontal blast zones. Yeah, I do believe so. So that 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 pick makes uh, perfect sense. But uh, YMCA taking a good amount of damage just from the defensive play of Sweet Tea. All right, he's starting to try. Uh, Sweet Tea really starting to get a grip over YMCA here, running away with that first stop. That's right. All the momentum's in YMC are in uh, Sweet Tea's favor, using the thunder. Very good Great option. Thunder. Yeah, Great poked through that right stage. There. Oh, he trying to punish the neutral getup. I feel like we're starting to see YMCA get a little too greedy here. He really wants to get the stock off of Sweet Tea and get himself back in the game, but he's kind of overextending to do so. <laughs> he didn't him fall again. for it the first time. He's not going to fall for it the second time. Maybe the third time, though. I mean, you keep doing it. Eventually, you're... you're he, eventually, Sweet Tea's going to think, there's no way he does it again. Exactly. All right, F smash at the ledge. Going to catch the neutral getup. And even though like uh, the the S smash is so small, DK is such a, a big target, time. and it lasts a long time. Oh, he wait! What? Is He's, that gonna kill? Okay, he really almost died there. At less than fifty percent, he almost lost game four at less than fifty percent. As Donkey Kong, Thunder. Oh, Ooh, look! Great scouts out the air dodge. Yeah, I feel like this counter pick is working in uh, against YMCA, actually. All right, no tech there on the up B for Sweet T. YMCA not quite out of the game yet. Oh, no, Never he's out of the game. He is. He is. <laughs> Directional air dodge. I was mistaken. Those blunders uh, do cost. Do they have quite a high price to pay when you yep. uh, do a directional air dodge when you uh, or do not intend to? Exactly. And very unfortunate. Three stock for Sweet T on that game four. The pressure is on to YMCA now. That's right. YMCA coming into game five, having a very strong game one and game two. But now all the momentum has shifted in Sweet T's favor. He hasn't had, he hasn't found an answer for this small mouse that's giving him so much trouble. Yeah, I mean, he definitely looked very close to doing it on game three. But that game four, it just wasn't there. I mean, he does, the counter pick is in his favor. He can choose Bowser? to opt to a different character. And you know what, Bowser? Another heavy. I'm very interested to see how this goes. Let's see. He now has the he has access to the flame breath, which uh, may help him out like on the on the ledge. I only gets two hits of Nera, actually. Let's see, he has a command grab. What else can he use against uh, Pichu? Ooh. That back air for sure gonna do some good damage. Looks for these forward tilts. He might be trying to just use Bowser's big tilt against Pichu's recovery, the just the agility. Yeah, because the agility doesn't have a hitbox. He's definitely looking to just try and get some early stocks off of Sweet Tea, punish the fact that he's so light. Okay, good thing for YMCA. He actually landed uh, on the... He got like a, a weird hitbox where he didn't get sent down with the thunder. But, oh, okay, good thing that was the brawl air dodge. But F smash at the ledge. Can't be getting up, up into these forward smashes. Just get up attack when you see it come out. It's invincible the whole time. You can just go through it. That's true. But it doesn't look like that he uh, he did input the option to get up before smash attack even came out. But wow, that down smash, that new down smash. Yeah, it honestly kind of reminds me of Wolves. Yeah, it does, huh? With the, the animation that it yeah. does. I up throw, looks for the forward air there. I would like to see maybe a neutral air. Neutral air, up air, but that's also sort of a DI mix up. But no jump. Oh no, YMCA 
dropping such a huge lead here in losers semis. Yeah, things are not looking great for our heavy boy right here. Picking Bowser game five may not have been the choice to make. Okay, now Thunder Jolt is in close range. And the Thunder Jolts keep coming out. Nair Thunder Jolt is definitely the game plan from Sweet Tea. Oh, oh yeah, he's really looking to get this stock off right now. Landing photo gonna alleviate some of the pressure. A down smash isn't gonna connect, but a down air will. Now we, oh, going for the footstool. He is still alive. Soft hit in there, not going to do it. He jumps into the forward smash, and that's going to be the two stock onto YMCA. Reverse 3 out for Sweet 2. I mean, the Pichu came in clutch. He was definitely.